my name is Mark McGruther. I'm the Fish Collection Manager here at the Australian Museum. I manage a, an enormous collection of dead fish. We're a bit like a library, but we send out specimens rather than books. We have a type collection that contains thousands and thousands of specimens. In fact, our type collection, these are the specimens upon which the original descriptions were made of a species, is the fourth largest in the world after Washington, Paris and London. Yes, Sydney does have a secret scorpion fish, which is becoming a little bit less secretive. It was first found, believe it or not, here at the Australian Museum in our collection. Back in 2000, a whole bunch of us went out to a whole bunch of different places in Sydney Harbour collecting specimens for a particular project. And at the time we had a Japanese postdoctoral research fellow working with us. And he looked at these two little specimens that we assumed were just a common scorpion fish. And he said, hang on, hang on, these, these are different. And he actually worked out what was different and described them, wrote a scientific paper about them and called them this wonderful thing, Scorpionopsis inspiratus. The species name Inspiratus comes from the Latin and means surprising. And it's surprising that it's found in Sydney Harbour, but it's also surprising because the genus Scorpionopsis that this fish sits in, well, its closest relatives are tropical and subtropical, and the closest relatives are found about mm, 850 kilometres to the north. So to find these couple of little specimens in Sydney Harbour was very surprising. Why it's so elusive? Well, the reason is that it's a little scorpion fish. It looks just like other little scorpion fish. And people in the past would have seen it and thought, oh, it's an eastern red rock cod, as we call them, or it's a fortescue, or one of the other scorpion fishes. So basically, it flew under the radar. Until recently, we just had two specimens, the type specimens, in jars in alcohol. They're brown and darker brown, basically, and not very exciting to look at. But what's happened recently, really exciting, was that uh, Dorothy and Rebecca Ramley have uh, given us still images and video footage of live fish filmed underwater in Sydney Harbour again over at Clifton Gardens. Scorpion fishes are really hard to identify underwater and I take my hat off them for persevering and sort of making the effort. And finally, now we know what the thing looks like. And this is fantastic because we've been waiting a decade to see this. Up until now, as I say, there's little brown dead fish in a jar in alcohol and now we know what these things look like when they're alive. And of course the hunters beginning in earnest to take more photos and video. What this discovery says about Sydney Harbour's biodiversity is that we don't know everything. Um, there are 586 species of fishes that we know have been recorded from Sydney Harbour, but the, the, the number is still climbing. In fact, the biodiversity of Sydney Harbour is so rich it would probably surprise a lot of people to know that we have more species of fishes here in Sydney Harbour, just the harbour, than the entire Mediterranean. To have a new species of fish described from the harbour is really something very special and it just shows you that there's just so much more we need to learn. We need to put so much more time and effort and research into looking at our waters to know what we've actually got here. If people are interested in finding out more about it, they can of course go to the Australian Museum website, they'll find out that there's a fact sheet there, some photos, there's a link to the video and some of the photos that Dorothy took, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited.